So the book we're going to be reading today is called Remarkably You, which is written by Pat Zietlow Miller and is illustrated by Patrice Barton. So just by looking at the cover, can anyone explain to me what the word remarkable means? Also, by looking at the illustrations on the cover and you see these three kids, um, let's all turn to a neighbor and discuss one quality about the children that makes them remarkable or unique, whether that be an activity that it seems like they participate in or something about their outfit. Let's share that with a neighbor. You might be bold, you might be loud, leading parades, drawing a crowd. You might be timid, you might be shy, quietly watching your neighbors go by. You might be small, one tiny sprout, learning new things when you're out and about. You might be big, practically grown, coming and going with friends of your own. No matter your volume, your age, or your size, you have the power to be a surprise. You have the know-how, you're savvy and smart, you could change the world. Are you willing to start? So this page is emphasizing that every person has the power to be a surprise, meaning that just by looking at somebody, you might not know a special talent or interest that they have. Can anybody name a special talent or interest that they have that they're proud of, but maybe people wouldn't know this about you just by looking at you? Don't sit on the sidelines, be part of the fray. Go after your passions a little each day. So by looking at this picture, what do you think is the passion of these kids? And what are they doing to um, go after their passion? Find what needs fixing, repair what you can, then choose a new problem and do it again. Perhaps you're uncertain, not sure what to do. Just look for the moments that let you be you. Like maybe you're funny or bookish or fast, or maybe you're always decidedly last. Perhaps you like counting or drawing all day or finding invisible dragons to slay. You have your own spirit, unparalleled flair. So rock what you've got every day, everywhere. Perhaps you wander or wonder or sing. The world needs your voice and the gifts that you bring. So everybody has their own spirit and sometimes that leads us to wanna to do different things than maybe our friends or our classmates. So has there ever been a time when your interests or maybe the activity that you wanted to do was different than your friends or your classmates? How did this make you feel? Were you nervous or scared about how they would uh, about what they would think when you wanted to do something different? Or were you excited? You can make a big difference. You can make a difference in big ways or small. You won't know how much till you give it your all. So find what you're good at, what you have to give, then go share your sunshine wherever you live. You might be a helper who's first on the scene, a speller, a builder, a rope jumping queen, a swimmer who knits, a cellist who cheers, a mutt loving cat cuddler who volunteers. You are a blessing, a promise, a prize. You're capable, caring, courageous, and wise. You might go unnoticed or shine like a star but wherever you go and whoever you are, don't change how you act to be just like the rest. Believe in yourself and the things you do best. Has there ever been a time when you changed how you acted because of another person? Let's put up a thumbs up or a thumbs down. A thumbs up for yes and thumbs down for no. If you have changed how you acted because of another person. Now, I want you to show on your faces how that made you feel. A smile if it made you feel happy, a big frown if it made you feel sad. 
So now let's share with the person next to you about the time and how it made you feel. So whether you're daring or careful or kind, embrace who you are and the way you're designed. Dream your own dreams, hear your own heart. You could change the world, you just have to start. Follow your path, do what you love to do. Be completely, uniquely, remarkably you. Okay, so now I want everybody to reflect on some qualities about themselves that make them unique and remarkably you. So we're gonna do a little activity based off of this book. So I want you to list three things that are remarkable about yourself. So we can go one quality, like funny or nice or silly, and then maybe two activities that you like to do, whether this be a sport, playing a musical instrument, doing ballet, or some other hobbies that you are in. Um, if you like to play board games or do puzzles. Now, after you make your list, I want you to draw an image of yourself doing all three, just like how this boy in the picture is playing the drums, but he also has his crown on and his little sword next to him because he likes to um, play some make-believe. So thank you very much.